All right, so I'm gonna show you the energy centers according to Carolyn Miss, exactly what they talk about because everyone knows about chakras. I'm gonna show you what it is in the most simple way possible so that you get it, ready? Check this out. All right, so here we have all the different chakras. There's essentially seven, if eight. This is kind of the uh, most basic aspect I can tell you about. And I want you to understand that your first chakra actually starts near your taint. This is your root chakra, any sort of affirmations that you speak with, I do and I am. And these are all the things that they're related to in this column. So as you can see, security and survival center. Balancing this helps the spinal column, rectum, legs, bones, feet, energizes the body and increases overall health. The one thing that I want you guys to understand is that energy goes up. So if any of these are out of alignment and or blocked, this is what I talk a lot about in my coaching, you can essentially work on different aspects of these. And once your intuition starts to build, you can understand where you are feeling your blocks and what your problem is and how this relates to your biology. So again, this is kind of esoteric, a little bit of Ayurvedic medicine as well, but I want you guys to really look at this. I'll quickly explain them. Here we have our second chakra located in the lower abdomen, genitals, and the womb. Anything that you say, I feel or I want, this is where it begins, right? This is related to your creativity, your sexuality, relationship with money, procreation, ability to feel joy and pleasure, and obviously balancing the chakra helps with sexual organs, large intestine, lower vertebrae, pelvis, hip area, and the urinary bladder. So any sort of physical ailments you're dealing with, it's because you have an issue going on with your second chakra. Now, solar plexus, this is really where you start to begin to manifest. When your third chakra in your solar plexus, in your chest, anything you say with I can or I do, this relates to your personal power, your self-confidence, your esteem, manifesting, and balancing this helps with all sorts of gut-related illnesses, including adrenal fatigue. So again, if you're dealing with any injuries or any ailments plaguing these areas, there's something going on with your third chakra in your solar plexus. Four chakra, obviously the heart. Anything that begins with I love is relating to your heart chakra. Anything that begins with I hate or anger and resentment blocks your heart chakra. This is obviously your love center, center for compassion, unconditional love, hope, forgiveness, and balancing this relates to everything related to here, okay? Your fifth chakra is your throat. So beginning to speak and stand up for yourself. Anything you say or do, I speak, I express, you always want to frame things in a positive standpoint. This relates to your communication, inner voice, speaking from truth, expression of creative arts, music, and willpower. Balancing this helps with thyroid, trachea, mouth, jaw, teeth, neck, and vertebrae. This is where most people that I see and I work with get stuck, okay? It takes a lot of work to stand up for yourself, but once you do it, it's, it's, this is where you will physically notice actual changes in your life. Your sixth chakra, right? Your third eye, I know and I think. That is your perception center, your psychic consciousness, wisdom, intuitive ability, visualization, and power of mind. This is really where you can begin to manifest. Balancing this helps with your brain, neurological system, your nervous system, your eyes, ears, and nose, okay? Lastly, your seventh chakra, that's your crown located at the top of your head. Anything, anything you say with I am or I understand, right? Make sure you know that I am and I am relate to all seven of these. This is how you fully align yourself. But that chakra relates to your spiritual center, development of psychic abilities, enlightenment, and unity, right? The whole purpose of your chakras is to be in union. If anything that you are experiencing here has a block, and intuitively as you're watching this video, you know where your blocks are, you can balance this. And this obviously helps with your nervous system as well, muscular system, and your skin. So leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. You do have another chakra above this, which is kind of like your script for life pretty much before you incarnate. That's your agreements that you have up there. And living with honor and integrity is the way that you balance most of these, right? Being an honest person, doing good things, and helping other people, that is what will keep you in alignment. Anything that you deviate from that will take you out of alignment. Anyways, I help a lot of people out with this sort of stuff. If you guys have questions on this in particular, shoot me a DM or book a call. But this is in essence, pretty much what I work on with clients once we get past some of the personal things that can plague you. And this will help you manifest better things in your personal life and your business life. See you guys in the next one.